Quotes from the World Marcus Tullius Cicero Quotes The greater the difficulty, the greater the glory. Cultivation to the mind is as necessary as food to the body. Thrift is of great revenue. Honor is the reward of virtue. Peace is liberty and tranquility. Rashness belongs to youth, prudence to old age. The function of wisdom is to discriminate between good and evil. Never go to excess, but let moderation be your guide. Old age, the crown of life, our play's last act. The countenance is the portrait of the soul, and the eyes mark its intentions. A man of courage is also full of faith. Any man is liable to err, only a fool persists in error. The nobler a man, the harder it is for him to suspect inferiority in others. I am not ashamed to confess that I am ignorant of what I do not know. True nobility is exempt from fear. No one can give you better advice than yourself. The pursuit, even of the best things, ought to be calm and tranquil. Whatever you do, do with all your might. While there's life, there's hope. If we are not ashamed to think it, we should not be ashamed to say it. Natural ability without education has more often attained to glory and virtue than education without natural ability. The good of the people is the greatest law. Ability without honor is useless. To be ignorant of what occurred before you were born, is to remain always a child. The precepts of the law are these, to live honestly, to injure no one, and to give everyone else his due. Confidence, is that feeling by which the mind embarks in great and honorable courses with a sure hope, and trust in itself. Every man can tell how many goats or sheep he possesses, but not how many friends. A room without books, is like a body without a soul. I criticize by creation, not by finding fault. Advice in old age is foolish, for what can be more absurd than to increase our provisions for the row the nearer we approach to our journey's end? Nothing is so strongly fortified that it cannot be taken by money. Of all nature's gifts to the human race, what is sweeter to a man than his children? It is the nature of every person to error, but only the fool perseveres in error. Nothing is so unbelievable that oratory cannot make it acceptable. Knowledge which is divorced from justice may be called cunning rather than wisdom. Rather leave the crime of the guilty unpunished, than condemn the innocent. Time destroys the speculation of men, but it confirms nature. Great is the power of habit. It teaches us to bear fatigue and to despise wounds and pain. What sweetness is left in life, if you take away friendship? Robbing life of friendship is like robbing the world of the sun. A true friend is more to be esteemed than kinsfolk. Death is not natural for a state as it is for a human being, for whom death is not only necessary, but frequently even desirable. In so far as the mind is stronger than the body, so are the ills contracted by the mind more severe than those contracted by the body. The authority of those who teach, is often an obstacle to those who want to learn. So near is falsehood to truth, that a wise man would do well not to trust himself on the narrow edge. We forget our pleasures, we remember our sufferings. The only excuse for war, 
is that we may live in peace unharmed. Let us not listen to those who think we ought to be angry with our enemies, and who believe this to be great and manly. Nothing is so praiseworthy, nothing so clearly shows a great and noble soul, as clemency and readiness to forgive. Justice consists in doing no injury to men, decency in giving them no offense. In everything truth surpasses the imitation and copy. He only employs his passion, who can make no use of his reason. I never admire another's fortune, so much that I became dissatisfied with my own. No one has the right to be sorry for himself, for a misfortune that strikes everyone. Fear is not a lasting teacher of duty. A letter does not blush. Take from a man his reputation for probity, and the more shrewd and clever he is, the more hated and mistrusted he becomes. Laws should be interpreted in a liberal sense, so that their intention may be preserved. You must become an old man in good time, if you wish to be an old man long. Great is our admiration of the order, who speaks with fluency and discretion. If you pursue good with labor, the labor passes away but the good remains. If you pursue evil with pleasure, the pleasure passes away and the evil remains. He does not seem to me to be a free man, who does not sometimes do nothing. Rightly defined philosophy, is simply the love of wisdom. What one has, one ought to use, and whatever he does he should do with all his might.